Hi, this is a demo of a mini motor power system for the electric power motor. Uh, so I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, sampling everything. So the, basically the package includes a motor, propeller, and controller, and your uh, wireless straddle. Um, you want to uh, connect the controller to the motor and determine the rotation. I mean the rotation for your propeller. Uh, so propeller, you can see this is a kind of have a airfoil shape. So which means that's the leading edge and the trailing edge is just uh, back of the airfoil. It's like a tail. No? That's the trailing edge. So that's the leading edge. So when we do the power motor, it's a push action, which means uh, you know the propeller is behind you and push you forward. Uh, in this way, so the flat part, I mean without the air for you, will be facing back and you're in the front. Because uh, the thing about the air folio will push you forward. And also you determine the rotation is also determined this way. So the, the air folio way, that's your leading edge. So the leading edge way you turn, it's your rotation direction. Um, so right now the, you know, if this is a propeller, so this is your leading edge with, uh, you know, air foil shape. So that propeller will be turned this way. You cannot turn the backward. That will be, doesn't generate any power, you know, you gotta turn this way. Uh, so that's why you, you need to uh, determine your uh, motor rotation. So you, your propeller will be installed this way. So the flat part will facing backward. So that's the way you can do install on your motor. Uh, so you can see right now, uh, the leading edge is right here. Leading edge is right here, which means the motor has to be turned this way, this kind of uh, clockwise. So the motor has to be turned this way. So you're going to connect the motor to the controller and determine the motor will be turned this way. That's your right direction. And uh, to, to, uh, uh, to connect the motor, so this is a major uh, control part. Uh, the controller has a three wire connector. You can just connect in that way, okay? Uh, and then uh, another size is uh, linked, it's kind of Jackson box. So you're gonna link to your battery part. Um, let's, let's just put them together. So put this on and tie them together. And then on this side, you can do Tie the screw and then link to the batteries. So in the Jackson box, there have uh, you know uh, a little receiver right here to uh, to get signal from your wireless throttle, and then that's a battery connector, and uh, you can connect. You know, any uh, 70 volt, 72 volt battery system, or you can use uh, my uh, battery link to connect uh, any uh, 80 volt uh, power to batteries. You can, you know, put uh, three 80 volt batteries right here. So the 80 volt battery will be, you know, something like that. You just plug in this way. You will connect them together. Um, so the battery link, 
will be connect you know three batteries and uh, each battery will be individually controlled by the you know circuit brake um, to determine the circuit brake you can you can feel when, when you turn it on it, it has some kind of strain to put it on when you turn it off it just quickly turning off so that's that's how you determine which is on which is off so you can actually mount this on your frame you know just if your frame is like this you can just mount with these two holes any other right on another side is the same thing it's pretty easy and then uh, and then uh, another side will be linked to your controller so the right will be the positive in this way the yellow will be a negative so you can uh, link them together right here Oh, uh, if uh, let's show you something else right here. So if you're going to connect uh, my uh, wired throttle, you know, wired pump throttle. So that's a wired pump throttle. So if you're going to use this one, you just uh, you see this. Uh, you see from your controller that's a you know signal wire right here so on your controller there are two wires there's a four wires this connector it's a programming wire uh, but I'm already programming the controller so you don't need to take care of this and another one is a signal wire so the signal wire has uh, you know three wires so the three wire will be linked to the you know receiver wireless receiver so if you're going to use my uh, wired controller you just take this out and connect to the wired signal and that'll be uh, use the wired controller Okay, that's how this works in that part. So that's your whole connection, you can see. So basically this battery will be put on your frame. So you can link three batteries. And then three battery will go to your main switch, which is a circuit brake. So you can turn it on and then the bat the power will go to the controller and controller control the motors and uh, right now we're going to just link to a one battery uh, before you link the battery make sure this is uh, all off so you can feel there's a string here which means it's off uh, and then when you link to the batteries so you can see there have kind of secure pin on the top uh, which means you always link battery from here so that's the way you can you can see you secure the position of your batteries so if you put in the middle you, you can actually you know turn another way to put it inside so which is uh, super dangerous because uh, when the dc power you cannot really uh, uh, mess up a uh, positive and negative once you mess up, you're going to burn off everything right away. So, so that's very important. Whenever you link a battery link package to the battery, always link this one first, the top one first. So in this way, this secure pin will be block you if you want to uh, connect in this way. So that secure pin will block you the connection. So you have to be connecting this way and that will be uh, make sure the positive goes to the positive and negative goes to the negative 
So I'm put them on. Let me just leave on the ground. <laughs> Messy. Uh, and then uh, you can just turn on the, the switch. You will hear the sound. Uh, and turn on the throttle. If I give a little throttle, so the motor is smooth. And right now, you can to decide the motor directions. So like I said, uh, my propeller will be turned this way. So I'm going to make sure the motor actually turning this way. So actually this motor is turning right direction. But just in case, if the motor doesn't turn in right direction, what you do is... Uh, let me turn this off. Make sure so there's no more power. No more power. Okay. So when you want to uh, change the motor rotation, the direction of the, the motor rotation, you just simply switch any two of this face wire. So just in case if my motor is turning wrong direction, you basically you just unscrew one of these another one okay and take them out and switch that will be ten that will be change the rotation of the motor uh super easy uh yeah that's the uh, how the setup and uh, very simple everything is uh, programmed and test uh once you got it you you just simply uh, put them together and once you uh, determine your uh, motor rotation in the right way you can do uh, tie them up and put a little uh, tape cover it to uh, make sure you know nothing in the shortage and then put on your frame and then finally you're going to put on your uh, propeller uh, remember the propeller is most dangerous things i think about even right now if suddenly, you know, accidentally I turn if everything on, there's nothing in danger. But if the propeller on this, oh, that sounds be super dangerous. You know, this is like a, you know, cutting machine, cutting everything out. <laughs> you know? So that's why uh, you, want, you want to put everything together. You know, every part is on your frame and then finally put on your motor. And then you can touch your frame on some, you know, safe place and then test on the, you know, propeller, the strut. Um, yeah, that's the whole setup. And uh, so this is a basically just a demo. Uh, for my uh, power system, I have a single motor for 15 kilowatt. Uh, and the dual motor for uh, 12 kilowatt and the single motor for 20 kilowatt. Uh, yeah, of course, the 20 kilowatts is the biggest. So the 20 kilowatts, you can actually, you know, to do uh, like a try it if you don't want to, uh, you know, full the launch. And also you can do a... Uh, like a tandem because there's a big motor a lot of powers there uh, for my dual motor i mean 12 kilowatt and the single motor 15 kilowatt uh, both the power very similar the dual motor will be uh, more efficient uh, like i, I talked about another video before uh, but both are power is pretty similar so those are can support roughly about uh, 180 pounds for the propeller, uh, uh, 180 pounds for the, uh, the, the pilot. It, if you just simply want more power, you can just use a bigger motor. Another thing about the bigger motor, it's uh, uh, for, my, uh, for my 15 kilowatt and the 12 kilowatt dual motor system, you have to use uh, uh, 72 volt 
battery, 72 volt battery or above, like uh, the 80 volt power tool batteries. Uh, for my uh, 20 uh, kilowatt, you know, the bigger motor, you can actually use something lower wattage, uh, like a Ego battery, which is 56 wattage. Uh, those batteries also work with uh, 20 kilowatt motor. Uh, but for my, uh, you know, small setup, I mean, you cannot really use <laughs> lower, any lower uh, wattage. You have to use uh, higher wattage, any uh, wattage higher than uh, 72 watt. Uh, 72 watt will be work with my, uh, you know, lightweight setup. Okay, that's uh, that's how everything works. Thanks.